how to integrate Google Forms with HubSpot. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can integrate your Google Forms and HubSpot. So let's get into it. Now, HubSpot is a CRM software which enables you to manage your customer relations. And for a lot of people, they like to use Google Forms to collect data, to have signups, event registrations, and other things on Google Forms. So Google Forms is probably one of the most used uh, form submission platform out there because it is just so simple. You can create contact forms, you can create RSVP party invites, and so much more with Google Docs or Google Forms. And if you're going to be managing your business or your customer communication with HubSpot, so it's going to be very helpful if you have both of these integrated together. Now, let's say uh, you are wanting to integrate both of these platforms but there is no direct connection available you cannot really integrate anything into google forms directly from both of their platforms so to make this connection you will have to go on to a third-party application like zapier so i'm using zapier all i have done is signed up via my email address onto zapier now what i'm just going to do is going to be a very simple process all i have to do is I'm going to click, go into my Zapier account. And then what you're going to do on your left side over here, you're going to scroll down. You're going to click on my apps over here. And once you click on my apps, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to click on search apps, and then you're going to search for HubSpot. So after searching for HubSpot, we're just going to see, you're going to find it over here. And then you're just going to click on connect over here on the right side. And then they're going to choose, they're going to ask you which account you would like to connect to. So I'm just going to link my account, click on choose account over here. And then they're going to be asking, you are authenticating all of this data. So we're just going to click on connect app over here. And once we click on connect app, we can see our connection has been made. So our HubSpot, uh, HubSpot has been linked to our Zapier account. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to once more on the left side of our screen, go into our app section. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on search apps and then I'm going to search for Google Forms. So I have searched for forms and you can see Google Forms is the top search result. And I'm just going to click on connect over here. And I'm going to choose the Google account. So make sure you're choosing the correct Google account that you want to link to your account over here. So you can easily integrate HubSpot with it. So whatever account you're using for your HubSpot, if you're going to link it, if you're if you want your email to be the same, then make sure you are selecting the same email for Google Forms as well. And just like that, I have made this connection. Uh, not the connection, I just connected both of these apps to my Zapier account. So now what I can do is I can connect two apps together to build my workflow so first off i'm going to select google forms so i have google forms over here connect this app with this one so the second app that i'm going to choose is hubspot so just like that i have added these two apps together and now i can begin building my zap or my integration if i scroll down you will see a recommended workflows as well so you will see different ideas that uh, zapier has some of the standard uh, links that they create so create hubspot contacts from google form responses update hubspot so this is like one of the most commonly used ones and which is super helpful so often when you're collecting information from users or leads then whenever you're collecting information from leads maybe you want to update your contacts from new Google Form responses. So we're going to click on try it over here and we're, I'm just going to show you one of their templates and then we're going to build our own little workflow automation with Zapier with our Google Forms and HubSpot. So I'm going to click on get started and now you're going to connect your forms account. We're going to click on next over here and you're going to choose your spreadsheet and we're going to click on connect and then you're going to choose your worksheet. So we're just going to select this one. And just like that, it is getting data from our Google Forms into Zapier and we are linking our HubSpot account. We're gonna click on next and then you can choose a template. So uh, we're just going to click on over here. And just like that, you're just going to fill out the information and your zap will be created or your automation will be created. Let's say we want to create a new zap. So we can click on create zap on the top left as well to begin creating a new zap as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the previous ones that I no longer need. So I'm just going to go on to Zapier, go on to our zaps, and then I'm just going to delete some of these. 
So we're just going to delete our old ones. And now I'm just going to click on create zap on the top left over here. And once I do that, what I'm going to do is choose my first application, which is going to be HubSpot. And then you can choose a event that triggers HubSpot. Or if you don't want this kind of format, you can also choose another format, such as going back onto your homepage to have a connection built and then suggestions. But let's say whenever on HubSpot, uh, I choose an event. So when a new deal is created on HubSpot. When a new deal happens on HubSpot, like I'm just going to choose my HubSpot account over here. You can also choose to test your triggers, but I'm just going to skip that for now. So just like that, I have like a simple little continuation form. And so whenever there is a new deal in HubSpot, the action would be in Google Forms. And then what would it do is maybe I want to create a new response. So the new response would be, would, what are you participating in this deal? Are you participating in, in this platform? And then you're just going to choose your Google Forms account that you want to link in, in this automation. And then you can also choose your action. So we're just going to choose redo in the worksheet that we're using, which is sheet one over here. And now you can add the spreadsheet info as well. So after that, what we're going to do is we're going to add our uh, little links and then you can also insert data. And now I'm just going to click on done over here. And now you can also click on test and continue or skip test if you just would want to move on with your next zap. And you're just going to be ready to publish your zap. So you can click on publish and turn on. And this process will now begin. So now you have a automated process with your Google Forms and HubSpot. And you can turn this on and off depending on whether you need it or not. So you can turn on and off your different zaps or automations that you create with Zapier. It's a free and easy tool to use and it will Will really save you a lot of time in your google form data collection or your lead generation or or lead responses as well so if we are going to create you know another kind of zap over here we're just going to click on connect app so i've selected hubspot and google forms and then i can choose my trigger over here as well now i'm going to reverse this instead of having the initial trigger be by hubspot i'm going to choose google forms so wherever you want the initial trigger to start from, we're going to add it first. And now I'm going to add my new trigger. So when a new or updated response in spreadsheet. So whenever something new, new information or uh, new responses are added, then I want a specific action. Then I want to create a contact to list. And now just like that, I have a simple HubSpot integration. You can just click on try it over here. And now you can begin uh, adding these specific fields in your Zapier Zap as well. The best part about this is that you can create up to five Zaps for free on Zapier. So you can build five automations for free. And we're just going to select all our spreadsheets over here and all the input data that we want. You're going to choose whatever worksheet or whatever form that you actually want the data to be collected from so we're going to select that but i'm just going to click on over here and the basic one is going to be like this is just like a sample form that's why the fields are all random but this is how we're going to do that and then we're just going to connect our hubspot account click on next over here and create a new list name we're going to go into our contact list and create a new list over here so you're just going to select the list. It's not updating currently, but it's going to be a simple process just to update your list and link it on over here. It just It's going to take a couple of minutes. It has a 15 minute update time on Zapier sometimes. So that is it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to link your Google Forms and HubSpot account together. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.